Hey guys, it's Adam back with a new video. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the 10 applications that have been removed from the Play Store and the App Store, and they have been legally removed. So if you try to install those applications, you may be punished by law in some countries. So stay tuned to know what are those applications. Alright guys, so the first application on our list is going to be called Buzz and Tipsy. Now that application was invented for those people who wanted to drink and drive. And what the application did was give them a notification of a traffic police checkpoint in front of them. So if you're driving down a street and you have a traffic police checkpoint in front of you, it will give you a notification to let you know that there may be a traffic police checkpoint. So be cautious now the application was deleted right away because apple did not allow that application to stay in the app store because drinking and driving is against the law in all the countries all right guys so the second application on our list is called i am so rich now this application costs 999 dollars and 99 cents and this application was deleted right away from the app store when apple knew about it because once you open the application there's only one diamond in the application and that's all that the application could do. So it was deleted right away and the uh, owners and the developers of that application were sued and they had to pay a fine because it was basically tricking people to download an application which does nothing and it cost $1,000. Alright guys, so the third application on our list is called Me So Holy. Now this application was removed by Apple because it was uh, intentional use of fooling around with religion and the application's job is putting your face on the face of Jesus on the application and that's not acceptable in any religion whatsoever. So it was removed and no actions were applied to the developers and the owners of the application. Alright guys, so the fourth application on our list is called My Shoe. And this application basically allows you to throw your shoes or the shoes that are available in the application to George Bush's face because that was happened in a teleconference uh, presentation in Iraq where a journalist threw his both shoes into George Bush's face and later on he was arrested. So basically that's repeating the same process that happened in that teleconference so that application was immediately removed because it was an insult to the United States Congress and President and it was also like a, an insult for that president so it was right away removed. Alright guys, so the fifth application was called Pocket Girlfriend. Now that application, just like the name said, it's like a girlfriend in your application where you can talk to her and also ask her questions like normally you ask a girlfriend of yours. And until now, there's nothing wrong with that application unless this application allowed you to talk sexual things with that girlfriend or with that uh, computer robot that was available in that application. And because of that, sexual talk in that application or in the app store was not allowed so actions had to be made in that application was right away removed. Alright guys, so the sixth application is called Video Strip Poker. Now as you may know, Strip Poker is a game that many people use and play and that's a game where you, if you win the, the opponent that's next to you or in front of you, you will have to tell them to take off a clothing object that they are wearing. And there's nothing wrong with that unless this application is video strip poker with girl looking in front of you. So that application was removed because you were going to see the private parts of that girl in that application. And that's not allowed in the privacy policy of the app store. So that application was right away removed. Alright guys, so the seventh application is called Taucon. Now what this application did, it basically gave you the radiation methods of all the lights that were shown to you or were uh, hidden to you so basically if you went and stood in, so in front of the sun it basically gave you how many radiation is on you and this application was good but it reached a point where people were scared because the measures of that application were not precise and accurate so for instance if you go in front of the sun and stay there for one hour you have a precise number but this application gave you a number which was not close to reality so that's why it, people got scared and this application was removed by the Apple team developers alright guys the eighth application is also an application similar to the first up uh, to the second application where you could sh throw your shoe into George Bush's face and that was like an insult to the United States president and this game is also the same thing because this game is called Obama trampoline now what the game does is basically you can play with Obama back and forth and up and down on a trampoline where it's available in the application so therefore the application was removed for the same reasons that the second application was removed because it was like an insult 
to the United States president, so this application was also removed. Alright guys, the ninth application is called an application where you could measure your beauty of your body and of your face and the application was called beauty measurer now this application is normal where you can put up your picture of your whole body or of your face and the application will give you a report of how beautiful you are for example it can say very beautiful or normal or you know not beautiful and this application was normal and many people used it and it was a lot of fun for those users that use this application but this application was removed because this application was only for people above 18 years old and one time a girl used this where she was 15 years old and when the company knew about it and the developers knew about it they right away deleted the app this application because they use this against the law because you will not be able to use an application if you're under 18 years old and for example which was this application Alright guys, there's 10 application which is the last application, it's called Swear Part. Now this application basically works like Google Translate and when you think of that you say there's nothing wrong with this application unless this application only translates cursed and swear words from other languages. For instance, if you try to swear in English, it's going to translate it to the language that you want. But if you type hi, it's not going to translate it because this application was only made for curses and swear and bad words. So that wraps up this video, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button if this video was helpful, and I hope you guys helped me reach 100 likes, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned until the next video.